Today we're going to talk about the best ways to release your adult monarch. So once the monarch emerges, it'll usually hang from its chrysalis for about three to four hours. You'll know that it's pretty much hardened up and ready to release when it kind of usually drops down to the bottom. Sometimes they flap around a little. You don't want to leave them in the cage for very long because they can damage their wings at that point. So you want to move them outside and release them. A nice sunny day like this is really great to release monarchs. If it is raining, you might just want to keep them inside somewhere quiet where they don't flap their wings around too much. But you take them outside on a nice day like this and you're not going to have to encourage them too much. Um, sometimes they'll crawl up on your finger, which is always nice to kind of get them to crawl up on your finger like that. Do that and the monarch's kind of tasting me. If the monarch doesn't want to immediately fly away, that's just fine. Um, if you don't want to stand there with it and wait, oftentimes I'll just transfer it on to some leaves or something of a nearby plant and then it can take off and fly away when it wants to. So this is a this is a female monarch. We'll look at the male here. Hopefully we can get a quick look at I suspect this one might take off a bit faster. So you can see he was ready to go. He went very quickly so you didn't have to do any encouragement for that one to fly off. This one um, may just sit and rest for a few hours before it's ready to go. So I would you know you know on my my porch or something like that and I try to avoid touching the wings but you can see if you can kind of, you can see how, when, can you kind of see it? When I put it near the, the railing there, it kind of will, will grab on. Oop. Kind of disturbed it enough to at least fly. So I just kind of carefully transfer it on to, to something where it you know, kind of stays out of the wind and out of the way a little bit. I hope I've inspired you today about how fun it is to find your own eggs, um, rear your own monarchs, and then finally get to release those monarch butterflies outdoors. Top five issues when you're growing tomatoes inside high tunnels. Number one, leaf mold. Yes, leaf mold. And you would have seen it. Leaf mold is uh, caused by a pathogen which is a fungus called Passalora fulva. 